Welcome back to Tech Gooch, ladies and gentlemen. I am here with another smart home video review, and that is the Ecobee 4 Wi Fi Alexa enabled thermostat. I apologize if I set your stuff off. I'm going to try to use the word Amazon from here on out so we don't set all of your devices off out there. But that said, uh, this is the Ecobee series that has that assistant built into it, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, obviously, whenever you're talking about something that's mounted on the wall, is it going to be as accurate or, and, and pick up your voice as well as the actual Echo series of products? Um, and I will get into that, but the the quick answer is yes. Yes, it does, and it works very, very well. So, um, so that said, uh, I did an install video. I will post a link directly to that video below as well as throw a card, card on here as well where you can see the install of this. In my install, obviously, I'm changing from the Ecobee 3 to the Ecobee 4. Uh, it's going to basically be the same setup no matter which thermostat you have um, with an addition to the common wire. But that said, go to the, the setup video if you want to see that. Uh, so I've actually had this installed for about uh, but almost a month now. Uh, not quite a month. Um, several weeks. And... It's an Ecobee. It's a fantastic thermostat. I loved my Ecobee 3. I love my Ecobee 4. Um, the Amazon integration into it is fantastic. It allows me to extend my network without buying more Echo devices. It's built into this guy, and it takes up less space on my end table in my living room because I don't have to have the product there anymore. So it is a fantastic item when you're actually using it, to, when you're using the, the Amazon agent built into it. Um, I'm going to go over a little bit, so the if you're not familiar with the Ecobee products, uh, one of those things that I had a hard time d telling people how it worked before, I guess, it's it can be confusing, but this is a Wi-Fi smart thermostat with external sensors that you can get. It comes with one, you can add more. Uh, how this works is, in your home, most people have the thermostat in a hallway of some kind. The thermostat reads the temperature at the thermostat, which means it's reading the hallway temperature it's gonna base your house at that temperature. So if you set the thermostat to 72 degrees, it's gonna to try to keep the hallway at 72 degrees. You don't occupy the hallway very frequently. You usually aren't there unless you're traveling from one room to another, which means if you're in the living room, it may be 74 degrees or 75 degrees. And if you're in the kitchen, it may be hotter yet because it's a kitchen, right? Uh, you're cooking in there. If you're in the bedroom, maybe it's, maybe it's during the winter time and your bedroom doesn't have as much as good insulation, so maybe it's colder. Um, it, it's rooms vary in the house because every single room is different. How they duct the air to it for airflow, as well as well insulation factors. Maybe there's more windows in that room. Maybe there, there's a lot of things that go into that. I'm not going to go into that specifically. But what this sensor does is it makes the thermostat read the temperature in the room that you are occupying. They have motion sensors on every single one of them, so it knows if you're occupying that room, and it bases the room based on that sensor. So essentially, all it is doing, so if I have this sensor in my, my house on this setup, I did it in my kitchen. Kitchen's usually warmer because of the heat, because of the cooking, but I like to keep the kitchen cooler while we're cooking a lot so it's not baking us out when we're eating supper. Um, so... That thermostat I mount in the kitchen. If I am in the kitchen, the Ecobee knows I'm in the kitchen, it's going to base my 72 degrees for my entire house based on the kitchen's temperature. Essentially, it's going to make this, the kitchen go to 72 degrees. It's not going to care what the rest of the house is. Uh, even if you have three or four other sensors, if they're not pinging, if they're not reading a temperature somewhere or somebody sensed in that room, they're going to ignore those sensors and base it on the room that you're occupying. So, if you're in the hallway, it's gonna be based at where the Ecobee is, where the where you are located. That's why it's nice if you buy an extra like two-pack sensor kit, add one to your living room, add one to your bedroom, it knows what room you're in, it's gonna base the temperature that you want your house at on the room that you are occupying. So I hope that makes sense. It's not gonna to try to keep each room independently temperature. So it's gonna keep the, I wanna keep the bedroom at this temperature and the kitchen at this temperature. You, if, you, if your furnace isn't set up to do that, it's not possible to do that because when the furnace blows or the air, you know, when you blow air through through a ducted system, it's continuous throughout the entire house. The only time that you can do that is if you have like a mini split system or something that has individual thermostats per room, then you can buy a whole bunch of these and have them all doing that specific room. So I want to make sure that's clear that this is a standard thermostat system with multiple sensors that allows you to integrate it into the house to keep the room that you are living or you are using or occupying at the, the, the desired temperature. 
All right, so hopefully I did that. Hopefully that kind of kicks that out of the board. So if you have any questions about that though, comments below, all right? You can also get over to thetechgooch.com and submit something directly to me and I'll try to do a better job of clarifying if I didn't do a good job there. So that said, the product itself, I'm gonna actually pop off and we're gonna actually head up and we're gonna actually take a peek at it and then we'll come back down to finish up. So similar in appearance to the Ecobee 3, um, the Ecobee 4 does jut out from the wall a little bit more and that's because of the speakers and microphones that are built in kind of behind it. Um, the menu is completely exactly the same with an addition to when you actually have uh, the Alexa agent come up, uh, you can actually talk to it and when it actually talks Sorry, back, I'm not sure. you can adjust the volume and the microphone and stuff like that. So we have it kind of turned down right now. Um, and I apologize if I'm setting off your your echoes and stuff like that whenever I say this. But that's how I get it to come up, so obviously. I will say this, that even talking from my living room, uh, it actually picks up just as good as an Echo device would actually do it. So the Echo or the Echo Dot. Um, very, I mean, the same microphone technology is basically built into this. And it picks up just as accurately as it ever has on any of my Echo products. So they did a really good job of integrating in a quality microphone system, an array into it that'll actually pick up to, no matter where you're from. So even if I yell it from my bedroom, it will actually pick it up just fine, um, as long as it carries into the hallway here. Uh, so the integration with the Echo series or the A person <laughs> um, is full integration. It works really, really well. All the same things that you could do from your Echo and your Echo Dot in order to control the Ecobee is the exact same. So to raise and lower temperatures by specific numbers or just say increase the temperature or decrease the temperature, she'll do it, um, which is fantastic. It's, uh, it's just built in rather than having to have a separate device. Uh, it also, if you already have one device, it just extends into the home. I have in my home two Echo Dots and, and, an, M, an, and an Echo and now the Ecobee 4. So that's four Alexa products. Um, well, actually, I do have a fifth downstairs. But it's it's just that full integration that makes it a lot smoother and sleeker and it, it's really nice. And the, the light is easy to see so you know when she's actually listening, just like it does on the Echo products. Um, so, I mean, I could sit here all day and ask her things like, Alexa, what's the weather going to be like today? Right now you can hear the... 75 so, degrees with cloudy skies. I can crank the Today's volume up. I can also mute, mute it so she's not actually listening to me ever. Um, it's, it's very simple and very elegant, and it does integrate with all the stuff. So you can hear she heard me, as well as my echo that's in the actual bedroom there heard me as well. Um... If it gets to the point where you already you're familiar, you're fine with the, with the what you have with your echoes already, you can mute this and actually turn the Alexa agent. You can actually disconnect it from your Amazon account altogether and not even use the Alexa integration. Ooh. Woo! <laughs> uh, so, with that said, uh, it works really really well. It uh, it's just as accurate as the previous Ecobees. It's just the integration of Amazon's product in there. So. Um, I'm trying not to use the, the A word too much so it's not kicking all your guys' stuff off. But but that said, uh, I don't unless you need the eco the uh, the Amazon integration, <laughs> um, it's not a necessity to upgrade from Eco B3. That said, if you have a non-Wi-Fi thermostat, now is the time to do it because this thing is pretty awesome. And if you don't want that integration, then look at the light series, the Eco B3 light. Uh, it's a fantastic product. The Ecobee series, in all rea in all reality, is a fantastic item as well. Just those remote sensors are pretty awesome. So I hope you like looking at it, and we'll head back down to the studio. So is it worth it? If you already have an Ecobee 3, a Nest, any of the nice Wi-Fi thermostats out there, is it necessary to go to this one? If you want that that Amazon integration into it, then yes, it, it, I, I I think it is the you know having that well, Echo capability built into the actual thermostat is nice. It is very handy. It, it it makes it easy to actually access it from anywhere around where the thermostat is. Um, I could see a future Ecobee. Uh, you could almost see the sensors becoming uh, external dots as you were, there's always that possibility. I could see that as a, as a neat capability that they could actually integrate into this, or if they actually worked with Amazon and maybe make the the uh, the 
Echo products have sensors in them for temperature and everything and motion capability. You just see where things are kind of heading, right? It's just pretty awesome, uh, and this is a good starting point. So um, it works really well. You can control anything. This works with if this then that. It is a fantastic product, and it's one of those that, again, I put my stamp of approval on. Uh, two thumbs up. I love this product. Love the Ego B3. Absolutely did love it. Uh, I'm glad I have the Ego B4, though. So if you have any questions at all about this, please post those below or head over to the website. Um, you can also get to me on Facebook, Twitter, uh, and uh, you can kind of post directly to me if you want to contact me through there as well. There's, so there's various options to get a hold of me if you have any questions for me specifically. But thanks again for watching, guys. Like I said, I will post a link at the top of the description where you can purchase this. If you purchase it, you are supporting the channel. Thank you very much. You definitely help me out, and it's, uh, it is growing, so I can actually start getting more and more products, and it's fantastic. Um, now, this specific product from Ecobee, they sent me this to review. So, full disclosure, I was sent this, but I don't get biased because I get sent products. I understand that some people think you do. I don't. Uh, if you send it to me or if I buy it, I'm going to give you the same unbiased, as much unbiased review as possible. My bias is... I love this thermostat. I really do. It's a fantastic item. So definitely check it out. If you have any questions, let me know. Please share, subscribe, uh, push this out there so more people find this channel so we get more support and more products. But thank you very much, guys. We'll catch you on a future video. We'll see you soon.